अज्ञानति मेरांधस्ते ज्ञानांजन शलाख्या चक्षुण मेलता मेन तस्मय श्री गुरु वांछा कल्प तरुभ कृपा सिंधु पतिता नाम पावने भ्यो वैष्णे भ्यो नमो नमः नमो महावदान्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय ते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौरी खुशे नमो नमः मुझे कम श्लोक याद रहते हैं प्रभु जी इसलिए कुछ त्रुटि हो तो आप करेक्ट कर देना हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत पते भूपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी ऋष भानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिया भक्तिया विहीना पराध लक्ष्य तरंग मध्य कृपा मई तम शरण सपन्ना वृंदे नमस्ते चरण वृंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्री असदी कुमार भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे जी प्रभु जी अब आप कृपा कर बताइए कि क्या मैं कहूं तो ये आपकी ना आवाज नहीं आ रही हमको हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी आवाज नहीं आ रही मुझे आपकी म्यूट है हरे कृष्णा आवाज नहीं आ रही आपकी हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी आपका म्यूट है माइक हाँ मेरा माइक ही म्यूट था तो आवाज कैसे आएगी दीदी आपने पता नहीं क्या मंत्र पढ़ दिया अच्छा तो मेरा माइक म्यूट हो गया मैं ये जानना चाहता हूँ कि आप ये बताइए कि आप कब गुरुदेव से जुड़े और कैसे जुड़े क्यों आप हरिनाम कर रहे हैं like didi said jaise in my family we have the background of radha swami in my family to hamare the meaning of guru everyone got through my mother but i didn't that word guru i didn't know you know i was and knowing what is guru i didn't know matlab kya hote hain mujhe kuch nahi pata tha and then my middle sister her son meri jo beech wali sister hain uske bete jo hamara he went to bangalore mat for studies so after my marriage i came back home and she said let's go bring him to this school and i said No you go I don't want to go and then my mother said no come you will like it and all the sisters are coming then I said okay let's go so my mother took me with her I just came home to my mother's house and I went with them a bit outside and there were many devotees there i didn't know what a mat is and i felt like i'm going to a very strange place i never heard about the word mat and then my mother said let's go inside inside of the mat all the children that were going there for studies they first had darshan of guru and then takuchi darshan and then they went to their bus and now i understand that time i didn't know what this rule is and then my middle sister said let's go inside i didn't want to go in you know i was very stubborn standing there at the gate i said i don't want to go in and then my sister she pulled me inside I'm sorry I'm disturbing you. Sorry Prabhu ji thoda 
So she took my hand and brought me inside. And when she took my hand, I am still joined with the mud. And then I told my mother, if you keep taking me to the mud, I will not come to your house anymore. You know, at that time, I didn't know what this is. And then my mother said, okay, in the future, I will not bring you with me. And then my sister called me and she was calling me to come to the mud. And in that time, Pujapat Bhaktivedan Narayan Goswamiji was in his sickness lila. And I didn't know about that. So Gurudev told me, Gurudev is here in the mud, you should come. And I said, okay. So Didi was saying this, that's why I was coming. I had no any feeling from inside. So in 2010, in December, I think, then he was very sick. And, Guru, and Didi said, come quickly to the mud. And I went to my mother's house. That Didi told me that I had to go to the mud. So I went to my mother's house from my in-laws and I took my mother, my brother, his children and there were many devotees there and I didn't know what was going on. Why did my sister call? So when I saw those devotees there in the room above in the bhajan kutir of Gurudev, the door and sometimes the door would open to give darshan to the devotees and then I was told to sit there and I said okay I'll sit here so when I sat there then Didi she had fed my mind that when the door opens just look at the feet of Gurudev and I said okay so this is really fixed in my mind because my sister was saying this again and again. It doesn't matter what you have darshan of, but at least have darshan of the feet. So as so when the door opened, I didn't know what to look. I was only looking at the feet of Gurudev. I didn't know who he is, but just as the door opened, I had darshan of his lotus feet. And in a few seconds, the door closed again. After that, I never had darshan of Pujapad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I never had darshan before, and after this, I never had darshan again. And after that, they took him to Puri. And then I was told by Didi that he went to Aprakat Lila. So there was this incident that a Prabhu is there in our mud and he was serving Gurudev. And Didi said for me to take Harinam. And I said, what is Harinam? I don't know anything. So Didi said, come quickly downstairs and bring your mala with you. I didn't know what mala is. And what is the process of Harinam? I didn't know anything. So Didi took me downstairs, she got me a mala, and then I thought, okay, this is nice. And I said, Didi, let's give the children of our brother also, and my daughter. So we got four malas, and we went to Sanjeev Prabhu. And then Sanjeev Prabhu said, so who wants Hari now? They should, their mala I want. And then we gave all the mala, and then he gave our malas back again. So we all got Harinam. So we, the four of us, we came with our mala. I didn't know what it meant, but Didi arranged it. She got it touched by Guru Dev, and we did. We got Harinam. So we went home. And then Didi asked me, 
by phone. Did you chant your rounds? You should do this. You should do that. And what? How to do worship? You know, in my in at my in-laws there was so much onion and garlic, and I could not leave that. I said, Didi, this is not possible for me. And then Didi said, Okay, don't worry. Slowly on, everything will be okay. You just continue chanting. And then I got charnamrit from the mud, and then I would put it in the food at the house of my in-laws before everyone came. So maybe perhaps by that charnamrit, there are glories of Gurudev. Perhaps by this, slowly on, I got this situation that I started to cook for myself because I didn't want to eat. I didn't like what was cooked, so I started to cook for myself. And then my in-laws said, you're cooking for yourself. I didn't answer them. I thought I just do my way. I really didn't want to eat their way anymore. So, when I was making prashadam, I was not cooking with onion and garlic, and I was thinking, how can I make sure that I will not have to cook again with onion and garlic? There was something Gurudev had arranged for me. So slowly on, I left onion garlic, and Gurudev also arranged that I went separate from the joint family. I was in the joint family. My Thakurji came to my house, and then Pujapad Bhaktivedan Ban Maharajji, he brought this. He installed the deity. And he said, and we brought the deity to our house then. So once Pujapad Bhaktivedan Ban Maharaji and Pujapad Bhaktivedan Madhav Maharaji were taking prasadam in the mud, and then Didi told me, You should know that your mala chanted by Gurudev. So as Didi was giving me instructions, I was following them. So she said, go ask, can I chant your mala? So I was very slow, uh, simple. I said, Gurudev, can you chant on my mala? And then Gurudev said, I am now taking prashada. Come upstairs when we are finished. I said, okay. So I was just waiting, and I was only looking at Gurudev. When will he be finished? When will he go upstairs? So when he was going, I gave him the mala for me and for my daughter, that he would chant on it. And then Pujapad Bhaktivedanta, Narayan Maharaji, I got Harinam by touch his touching of my mala, and then Pujapad Ban Maharaji gave me a mala, and after that, my chanting really started. So at five o'clock, I wake up to go downstairs, and then once I I saw my mala, and it was attracting me, and I was looking at my mala, and then I would look away. And then again, I would look and I was thinking, what is happening? And I said, okay, take your mala and start chanting. And then you will realize what is happening. So I took my mala and that was the first time I did a round. And I felt strange. So I did one round and went downstairs. And then this came in my routine. Every time I went downstairs at five o'clock, I would do one round and I really liked it and then Didi told me she's always guiding me 
She said, on Sundays, there is a program in the mud for the children for Puja, from Puja Didi and the Prabhu. There is a play of the uh, Leela of Krishna, little Krishna. So there were some children and I would take my child as well. And it was really nice. And I thought, okay, the, my child is liking this and some change is coming. So, and on Sundays, I also went to the class of Puja Didi. And then the timings changed. And the Jaiva Dharma class started for the adults. And then I started to go to that class. And then I realized what is a scripture and how you should read this. And I didn't understand anything. I didn't have any knowledge. But I went to the classes. And by this, I came to know what is the mud, what happens, how to chant your rounds. And then Pujapad Ban Maharaji, my Gurudev, he was doing a program. And then Didi told me, let's go to the mud. My husband was a bit mad because he didn't like these things. And I told him, I'm going to the mud. Please come pick me up. But the time I gave him, it was too late. Because at Didi's house, Gurudev was sitting, and I didn't want to go. And then my husband said, I'm going to the mud. And I'll pick you up there. And I said, okay, but I'm now going to Didi's house. So pick me up there. But then he was so angry with me. He said, where are you going? What are you doing? I don't know anything. He was very angry with me. And then I was a bit afraid what to do now. So I sat down. Gurudev was speaking. And he was giving a normal katha. Like Gurudev is giving those high-level kathas, but this was a normal katha. Maybe because I was not capable of listening to the high-level katha. So, in the katha, I was not really concentrated. I was thinking, now my husband will come, and he will make such a fuss, and what will happen here? So, I was sitting inside and praying, and Gurudev is so merciful, and he knows what is going on in your mind. I'm thinking this in my mind, and he came towards me. I was thinking in myself, and I saw my husband coming inside and sitting and hearing the katha. And I was thinking, and Gurudev heard this, and he sat down next to me. And I was surprised. How is this happening? My husband was so angry, and I thought there will be a big fight. But he's just sitting next to me so quietly, and he also took prasadam there. And then, together, very normally, we went back home. Nothing happened. And I felt like it's magic. So then I got more Shraddha for Gurudev. Gurudev is so merciful. Every time I think something in my mind, he is always fulfilling that. He always hear what I'm thinking. And I'm not even thinking with the mood of what to tell Gurudev. I'm just thinking in myself, what is my trouble? And still, Gurudev understands this. You know, even today this happens. And then, this was the first experience I had with Gurudev. You know, we are so conditioned souls, so I needed something like this to get my shraddha increased. You know, I don't even know what I want, where I came from, where to go. And then one day, Prabhuji, I went to my sister's house and my uh, 
brother-in-law was saying let's listen to a katha i didn't know i have to listen to a katha now and then he said there's this prabhu on skype he's speaking katha let's listen to this i said okay let's see what we can hear so i took a skype account and then gokulchan prabhu was giving a skype class he was studying a book in the starting i didn't understand anything today not even but there was this routine so i started to hear katha by routine and i thought yes this is very necessary if you want to do bhajan if you want to make some progress we should hear katha and then puja didi's classes started so through them i learned how to listen to katha and in the classes of puja didi i learned what how to understand things so i call them my shiksha gurus through them i started to hear katha and even today i'm still continuing this i feel like this is my life like before before my hari naam i had another life this is my new life i really like to be with gurudev he is just like a father like he has put his hand on my hand and you don't have to worry about anything so when i get this bhav this mood then you know from the beginning i have never been so attached to someone i'm for the first time attached to someone like with gurudev so one thing i remember very well gurudev always says you don't have to break you have to unite if you think about breaking something you know i'm thinking of leaving things breaking things i have a lot of negativity inside me but then when gurudev said this and i heard it don't break but unite that was so wonderful for me and i was thinking how to unite i don't know and then slowly on by hearing katha hearing gurudev katha i didn't understand anything but now i understand slowly slowly but i cannot get the mood you know if i understand i still cannot cannot get in the mood so this is my pro- process from 2010 to 2014 in 2014 i got i took diksha in navadvip parikrama with didi and then my sister said a lot of time has passed you should take diksha now so this was new for me i don't know what this means so i went to navadvi the parikrama was going on and gurudev was sitting there and i was following gurudev because i wanted to take diksha from gurudev and i was going after him like a child so i was following him where he was going i was also going and in the end when he sat down i went to him and i said gurudev i would like to have diksha so then i came back and i said didi he didn't give me an answer and she said okay don't worry when the parikrama will go back to the mat then you ask there so my daughter was being 
very stubborn. She also wanted to take Diksha, and I said, no, you're small, don't take Diksha yet. First try to understand all these things, and she, she said, no, no, I want to have Diksha. You know, not even, I was not even so stubborn for Diksha, but she was. And I thought, okay, let's go. And now my daughter was really putting her foot down. She wanted to have Diksha. So then we asked Gurudev, and then Gurudev said, there will be Gatha on the rooftop, you come there. So that day was Ikadushi. 11th of March in 2014. Then Gurdjieff said, you come upstairs and then we will speak. And I went upstairs, Katha was going up. I could not get my focus on the Katha because I didn't got an answer from Gurudev and I was sitting there. And then the Katha, when it ended, then Gurudev said, come to my room. And I was very happy. Gurudev called me and my daughter was also very happy and then my daughter said let's go ma we will get Diksha so we went to the room we got Diksha my, me, I got Diksha and my daughter and another one person so in 2014 I got my Diksha and after that I took everything in my life very lightly sometimes I did Harinam sometimes I didn't and Diksha I also did the same way once I also left Diksha I did my Anik but then I stopped doing this and then Didi told me If you don't take, do your anik, your diksha will fail. And then I have to go take do, again diksha. And then I spoke with Gurudev in the mud. And I said, Gurudev, my diksha, I have not done that regularly. And then Gurudev said, you will have to do this again. I said, no, it's not necessary to do it again. But he said, you don't have to take Diksha again, you should start again doing it with faith. You know, I'm so fallen. So important, Anik Mantra, I stopped doing it. And, you know, I have no knowledge that why I did so. And Gurudev is so merciful. He is always giving his mercy and I keep falling and he is lifting me again and I'm falling again. This process is going on. But my Shraddha increased after lockdown. When Gurudev was here in the Mathura Mat and he was giving Katha, then I was in a routine listening to his Katha. He didn't give me a special instruction that I have to chant 64 rounds. He said so to everyone. But I felt like he is saying this to me. So I said, okay, let me start doing 64 rounds. And I was trying. And in that time, I had a lot of spare time. So I managed to do 64 rounds. And then I thought, Gurudev gave me some special mercy. You know, only if you have a strong Shraddha, this can happen. And that's what Gurudev gave me. You know, I'm feeling like a very ill patient. And when the doctor comes, he knows when I'm faking. And then he is really knowing what is happening. And just like that, Gurudev knows what he should do to get me better, what surgery he is doing. I don't know, but he is doing his thing to make me better. 
You know, at first I thought, I can manage, I will do all these things. I, I met Gurudev now. I know, I don't, don't know what the glories are of Gurudev, but what happened now is because of the lockdown. You know, my elder sister says, in our family, Gurudev, is really giving us so much mercy. I don't know what will happen, but He has given us so much mercy. So, Prabhuji, like it's in Giti Guchi, Jivan Sada Papi, you know, when I read the meaning of this song, I, you know, I'm just like that. I never took anything serious. I'm very lazy. There's no seriousness in me. And when I see that, uh, and Gurudev just ignores these things of me and he is giving me mercy. So Gurudev is saying, Gurudev says, you just keep chanting your brahms. He is always speaking so lovingly. How are you? You know, he's speaking like, how are you? How is your husband? How are your children? And I'm happy. You know, Gurudev doesn't have to ask me, how is your bhakti going? How is your sadhan going? Are you trying to do something? You know, these questions, I will run from them. I'm not that serious. So, I don't know how to enter the classes, but be, still, he has this ahait to kikripa, causeless mercy. You know, I don't do anything, and still, Gurudev is showering his mercy on me. I don't know how I am walking on my path, but Gurudev is just taking me with him. And this is my process, as I told you. If you'd like to know something more, please ask.